On part three of our northeastern Arizona adventure, we continue to explore around Chin Lee. First, we stop to check out some incredible red rock monuments, including a massive double arch. Then, just further west, we stumble upon our first set of cliff dwellings. As the clouds move in, we capture some final images for the weather takes a turn for the worse. Part three of this incredible Northeastern Arizona adventure continues. Today we head into a new region of incredible rock formations and just local beauty. Um, currently the, the weather is not great. Very, very blue skies this morning as well as light winds. So the forecast is showing cloud to move in and I'm really keeping an eye on that because one, I want clouds, but two, I don't want it to start raining. Rain in this particular part of Northern Arizona is not a good thing. It can be incredibly devastating, uh, especially with flash flooding. And the, the landscape here, it's a, it's a very fine sand that can turn into clay very quickly, leaving you stranded in these back uh, road. So we're going to keep an eye on that, but we've got some incredible stops along the way. More buttes, more spires, uh, more arches and, uh, and the like. So let's get after it. Well, our first stop happened pretty quickly. Look at this up here. It's not a single, it's a double arch. There is a massive column separating a larger and then a smaller. It's incredible. And then look at these pristine dunes back here. This is going to be a fantastic location. Let's get the camera out. incredible these dunes are really really pristine there is some miscellaneous debris sticks and twigs and that kind of thing but in general the ripples are very well preserved i only really have one tip or one rule that i follow whenever i'm photographing sand dunes is work your way in if you haven't taken photographs from back away take those first because your footprints are going to be everywhere especially as you're finding different compositions ultimately i want to work my way up to the top of this sand dune because there's some incredible ripples up there that i think will make for a great kind of juxtaposition between the red rocks and this kind of more gray muted sand so so far we're getting some incredible shots and as we go along i'll show you some of those images and hopefully inspire you to get out to places like this Next up though, we're gonna launch that drone because I wanna get a better look at that double arch up there. It's gonna be incredible. There's these beautiful grasses down below here, and I think it makes for a great juxtaposition between lush greenery and that dry desert. Such an incredible place.
I can't quite tell because they're in shadow, but I think there's some Indian ruins right up there. Well, I'll be darn. Let's check them out. I cannot tell you how many times I have found incredible things on this trip just by looking around as I'm driving down the road and taking it slow down these roads. Like there's no rush. Um, the beauty of the scenery is just everywhere. And I happen to spot some of these ancient Indian dwellings. And this is pretty awesome because I'm like 50 yards away. You can't really get this close to Indian ruins in a lot of places, especially uh, in part one with Canyon de Chez, unless you get a relatively expensive guide to go through the canyon. Then you get a little bit closer up and a little bit more access, but um, I like to kind of just do things on the free. I think uh, free spaces are a good thing, but um, yeah, right now, the ruins themselves are in shadow. That's why I have the tripod out so I can get some nice crisp images. And there looks to be quite a few structures in terms of walls and uh, facades, if you will. But what's really cool is, I'm not quite sure if you would call that desert varnish because it's not black. It's not kind of that soot color. But there are these nice vertical lines of lighter color sandstone mixed in with the red sandstone that I think make for, again, great leading lines and kind of tell the story of this image. And I'm trying a couple of compositions, you know, wider to show a bigger scene, but then the ruins become that much smaller. So I'm also trying some zoomed in shots just to see what works and what I'm really excited about. But I have to tell you the, the most exciting feature um, I'm not a rock climber, but if you were so inclined, you could probably scramble up there. There's this nice little S-shaped gouge, little crevasse, that you could probably stick an arm or two in there and climb up in there and, and really explore if you wanted to. But that's not something um, I really enjoy as far as rock climbing. But I also don't want to disturb these places either. I want them to be around for a long time so future generations can enjoy them as well. So let's fire off a couple of shots. Next though, I'm gonna focus on this beautiful kind of desert varnish is what I'm calling it with this light and red sandstone with these streaks. I think it'll make for some very nice detail images as well. Look at these insane washes. It would be amazing to see a flash flood through here, but incredibly dangerous. So we're going to keep an eye on these clouds. They are moving in quick. Sure enough, we got more Indian ruins. That one is really beautiful. Look at the way the alcove is. Gorgeous. Oh. That is so impressive. Look at the lines and how they like curve around it. That is so beautiful. Wow. I mean, at first I was thinking, you know, lucky day because I found the one set of Indian ruins, but now that I've seen this place, I'm starting to think that this area is just very rich in history because almost every alcove, I'm really scanning it because I'm like, is there any, you know, vertical lines, something that would tell me that there's man-made structures in there. So really cool. Um, this one, I am gonna go up and take a look because it's real special and I wanna get a picture looking out. It's gonna be marvelous.
As we made our way to the backside here of the double arch, these incredible clouds have started to move in, which is uh, obviously a blessing and a curse, but the light is popping off because of the intermittent clouds and the sun poking through. We're getting some incredible images. Wow, out of nowhere that wind kicked up and it is just dusty. Like you can barely even breathe, you can barely even stand out there. And it's funny to think because I, uh, I was worried about flash floods and rain more than anything, but I didn't realize the temperature change and the swing would bring such a crazy amount of wind. So uh, I think that's gonna be uh, us wrapping up the uh, third part here of the northeastern Arizona road trip and I got to tell you I'm thrilled about all the different places we got to explore on this adventure. I hope you've been inspired as well. As always check out this video here if you're stumbling across this one and you haven't seen part one or two and always we'll see you on that next adventure.